So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. from this realm too early. Ah, good! The special chisel is ahead past this gate. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. 
If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? This chisel we see. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. There was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Up ahead. A wolver! At the red! Very giant. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything.
Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead! Should we attack? And I'll find light system. Sandy.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy! Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. 
Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water dropped. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. So work we go. Come back any time. So, the spider. Can you guess it? I have a favorite. Knowing you, it Just doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Karma oh. really liked jewelry, didn't he? He even braided his beard with it. This is Jackson. No. Careful! Snow cover My course. shop's right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. Ready yourself, boy! on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. 
What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree yeah. of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia <gasps> is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Just give the word. Huh. What now? Ooh. We got most of it. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Going up from what we need is all the way down there. Thick. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. Turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. Then. You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Uh, this plan seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. How do we get to it? We cannot. <laughs> 
What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet, Head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Do it. House. Two more. Four. Bed. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the ball! Back to writing, before the floor collapses. Thor. 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 Throw a lot of trouble off the blast again! <laughs> Watch out! 
behind you, brother! <laughs> Having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come! Do not panic! Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you! Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. 
Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
That was good, right? Adequate. Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. I have more information on that whetstone I mentioned earlier. Was there something else? Would you focus on your damn job? I mean it! He went to war with Uncle, and walked away. Uncle had to see straight in his ears. <laughs> so you will stop talking, focus, and help me find them. Ooh, can't disappoint father. No, we cannot disappoint father. Now keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't tell me what to do! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I can't remember the last time we faced an actual challenge. Before we call this a challenge, an old man in this
Chief! Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Come here, Hathreed. You done her. Shut it out! Focus! Small is yours, brother. Don't tell me what to do. 
religion. You have no idea. You son of a bitch! No, no. Ah! Sickness. The fever has returned. No! It hasn't. Boy! The coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. 